I'm seeing somebody receiving a call. Herod, Herod is gone. Herod is finished. God said, stay here until I tell you Herod is gone. Stay here. Stay here. You don't have to contend this one. You don't have to fight this one. You can rest it out. Just stay in hiding until I put all your enemies as a footstool under your feet. I, 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 I see an email. I see a call. I, 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 I see a WhatsApp message. Her road is gone. Listen, your competitor is gone. Listen, do you know the person in industry that was speaking against your business? Well, it seems like they've run out of business themselves. They are gone. They are no longer in the meetings where they used to character assassinate you. They are no longer in the meetings where they used to speak ill about your business. They are no longer in the meetings where every time your, your name was mentioned, your name was recommended, they would chuck it down. They would, they would, they, they would speak against you. Herod is gone. The angel says, stay here. Uh -huh. uh, that's right. All things are working together for my good. Uh, that's right. I'm in hiding for a purpose. That's right. When I'm in hiding, I rest. Uh, that's right. When I'm in hiding, I don't need to panic that my assignment has been taken away from me. That's right. When I'm in hiding, I don't need to worry that my mis ministry will never reach the place where God showed me in my dreams. That's right. When God tells me to hide, I can hide. Ooh, I can, I can, I can hide in peace. I don't, I don't, I, I don't need to hide and still worry. Uh, when you're in hiding and God has told you to hide, you can hide in peace. Because just because I'm in hiding doesn't mean I'm not coming back. Just because I'm in hiding, it doesn't mean there is no greatness ascribed to my, to my future. Just because I'm in hiding doesn't mean that just because I'm in hiding, it doesn't mean that I don't have an assignment over my life. Be careful how you treat people who are in hiding. Be careful how you treat people you meet when they're in hiding. Be careful how you treat uh, uh, people that are in seasons where God is intentionally, purposefully concealing them. That's why we said, Lord, help us to know no man after the flesh. Some of the people that I remember up until today, they're just a handful of people that believed in the hosting heaven vision before it even manifested. And we're going on a journey. We haven't even arrived. The Lord is still saying this is just but the beginning. But I will never forget the people who when we started, they believed in us. Be careful that just because someone has not been announced by God, just because a vision has not been announced by God, be careful how you treat them. And pay attention to the people that believe in the thing that you have, that you have, that in seasons where you are concealed, in seasons where not, where not many people agree, in seasons where not many people are, are, are rocking with you. Be careful how you, be careful that you know no man after the flesh, especially when they're in Because many great people came out of the secret place. Ask David. They came out of concealing. They came out of a place where they were hidden. And one day they said, we will not sit on this table and eat any of this food until David comes out of the wilderness. I prophesy over somebody's life. I don't know why, but this morning I want to make a prophetic declaration over somebody that God has been hiding for a while. That they will not sit and eat food on that table until you are out of the wilderness. When the time comes for you to be anointed. When the time comes for the hand of God to choose you. When the time comes for the finger of God to point Point at your vision, point at your ministry, point at your business, point at your assignment. They will not sit down until you arrive. 